This conference will now be recorded. So, uh, procurement of external services. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover in procurement of external services, we will see the important master data used in procurement of external services, basic procurement process for external services, we will cover service master records and service conditions. We will see that how the service master records are created. Okay. How the structure of purchase order items for services looks like. We will see this in the purchase order item. Then service entry sheet referencing a purchase order. So once the purchase order is created, once the service activity is completed, how to enter the service entry details in the system, we will see. How to add an unplanned services during service entry process, we will see this, okay. Then how to accept a service entry sheet. And finally, check an invoice for a service fee. So for a service purchase order, how to do the invoice verification. So these are the topics we will be covering in the procurement of external services, okay. So basically, what happens is in some companies, in some companies, they require some small maintenance work, such as replacement of defective fans and fluorescent tubes, okay, are to be carried out by external service provider. So some in some industries, what happens is you need some activity from a supplier. Normally you purchase materials, but other than that, sometimes you need some service activity from suppliers. Suppose let's say in your company, your machine is not working. So your internal team, your internal maintenance technicians are not able to resolve the issue. So then what you will do? You will hire a vendor. You ask an outsider vendor, third party vendor to come and do the machine repair activity. So here what he is doing is doing a service. He's providing some services. Okay, he's not providing any material. So that services procurement, how to do in the system, we are understanding. Okay, like suppose let's say in your company, uh, some fans are, or air cooler is not working. They have a centralized AC, that centralized AC is not working. So you hire a third party vendor, he will come and rectify the problem. So those kind of things comes under external services. Okay, so how to do that in the system? Now we are going to understand. Okay, in addition to their own workforce, many firms now employ external service providers to do work of various kinds. That's what I just explained. Okay, this may be due to a number of reasons. For example, their own staff may lack either the capacity or the qualifications to perform certain tasks. If your internal labor, if your internal employees are not able to do certain work, not able to perform certain tasks, so in those cases, you will perform it, you will hire third party vendor. So here he is, we will provide services, not the materials. Okay. With external services, you have a PO for services with good receipt taking place. But the good receipt is called service entries. Service entries, which we will see in the subsequent slides. Okay. So if you go to our flow, if you try to recollect our flow. So what is a what is a flow we followed for the uh, uh, what do you see uh, for the procurement of stock material? What we did we created a page uh, purchase order creation of purchase order. We created a purchase order. After that, against the purchase order, once the vendor supplied the material, we did the course receipt. We received the material, and after that, we did the invoice verification invoice verification okay this is for the stock materials this is for the stock materials stock or of course non-stock materials also of course materials okay but in case of in case of services in case of services the difference is you create a PO as usual you create the PO as usual Okay, PO is, is there, but you will not have here goods received. Instead of that, you will have service entry sheet. Service entry sheet and final and also followed by acceptance. Acceptance, that is the difference. That is the difference. PO is okay, 
of course here you will create a service PO. Here you will create a the, the PO is called as a service PO. Service PO. Okay. So the main difference is the second step. There you do the GR good receipt. Okay. The T code was Vigo. This already we discussed in depth. Here you will use a transaction called in the services ML81. ML81. Remaining, of course, same. Okay. So now what is the data required for this external services procurement? You need a service master. Okay. So you need a service master record. So basically, this service master record you can create directly in the system. In the system, or the service activity information may come from PM plan maintenance. Okay, or in the project system module or in the MM module. Once created, once created, this can be used in these various applications. It is like a master record, service master record. Like for the materials, you have material master record, right? Same way for services, you have service master record. Okay, so this we will create. This we will create service master. So here you will give a service number, okay, service category. Okay, then you enter the material group. And if you want any long text to be maintained, you can maintain all that information can be maintained. The T code is AC03, service master. With the same T code, you can create display change everything you can do with the same T code. Okay, so now let's go to that. Let's create a uh, service master. Okay, I'll go to the system. Okay, so as I said, the T code is AC03. This one. Already you have some services in the system. This is a training system, right? So people created a left and right uh, as per their requirement. Okay, but let's create a new one. So to create a new one, you need to click on this button. Here you see create new service. There is a button. Click on that button. Okay, once you click on that button, you will get this screen. Okay, they will get this option. I'll let the system assign the number. I don't want to assign the number. So let system assign the number when we in, uh, uh, what do you call uh, save the service okay so i want fan service to be done in my company fan service fan service to be done okay this is the description select the service category what type of service it is okay let's say it is a purchasing service let's say okay or let's say admin service okay i'll select the category unit of measure i'll select one of the unit of measure like do we have au activity unit okay, wait. this is a new system actually um, okay we have activity unit okay give the unit of measure enter okay here you, you give the valuation class okay purchase the services i'll give this valuation class enter okay you, you can enter other information you can enter material group if you want you can enter all the other information if you want but that is not mandatory that's okay you can write some long text Okay, so once you enter all this information, you need to save it. When you save it, it will assign a number. It will assign a number. So I'm saving it. See, service master created. What is the number? Double one two zero. I'll create one more. Click on create button. Okay, I'll create one more machine service. Machine service. Okay, service category. Now let's say we don't have PM. Okay, let me put it as civil services. Okay, just I'll put as a civil services as of now. Same activity unit. Enter. Enter the valuation class. Okay, same purchased services. Enter. You can enter the remaining information, whatever you want. Okay, now save it. So, like this, you will be creating the service master. This we will be using it in the purchase order. You will be using it in the purchase order. Okay, so that is the service master. Service master. Okay. Next, we will be discussing is the service conditions. Suppose let's say we only have the master. But, uh, just give me one minute. Huh? Just give. 